Hello guys, welcome back to CTV International, another IT episode. So today uh, I'll show you guys um, how you can build a nested ESXi on a physical ESXi machine. So if you have a limited resource to do your practice, like enterprise level practice. So uh, like minimum, you need three ESXi hosts to do the complete uh, ESXi and vCenter uh, to apply all the vCenter uh, feature. So to make a cluster environment like high availability, to enable the high availability or also um, distributed resource scheduler, um, like all kind of enterprise level feature, you need at least three hosts. But it's the, the, to, uh, to purchase a host is really cost, costly. So if you have only one host, that means one physical server, and you can install ESXi on that physical server. And on top of that, you can create like three virtual machine and you can install ESXi, which is called um, nested ESXi. In that case, you can have three ESXi host, which will act as a physical. That's called nested ESXi. But um, if your environment has, your physical environment has three hosts, and on top of that, and also you have uh, vSAN configured, that means your storage is vSAN storage, and you build the nested ESXi VM on that, um, on that um, vSAN storage, in that case, you have some problem. So I'll show you how you can resolve that problem. So the first thing is, if you have one ESXi host, and if you don't have any, um, if you don't have any uh, basin storage, then you are good to go. You just need to do some special configuration on um, when you create the VM. So I'll show both. If you have one host, how you can do that. And if you have three physical hosts, and also you have basin storage, and you are creating a virtual machine, yesterday ESXi virtual machine on your existing host with your um, vCenter storage, how you can do that. So let's go and test it out. So first I'm going to share my screen. Um, all right, uh, uh, minimizing this. So this is my, uh, my environment. I have three hosts. If you have one host, then you are good to go if you don't have any base in storage. Um, but only one thing you have to remember when you create a VM for nested ESXi host. So I'm going to show you guys one. So I'm going to create one machine uh, on ESXi host number two, if you have only one. Um, so you can create a new virtual machine. And then next, you can give a name. Um, Say test. Okay, nested ESXi. Nested ESXi for 6.7 ESXi version. Uh, BM. And this one is for test. The name doesn't matter, whatever you want, you can put it here. Click next. Anywhere you can put it next. Now, the storage. I have uh, NFS storage. I had also iScale storage. I have uh, vSense storage. So um, I faced some problem when I create the master VM on, um, I, when I use uh, vSense storage. So I'll show you both. If you have only one storage NFS or a schedule, just select that one. In that case, you don't have, you don't gonna face any problem with the storage. But only one thing you have to remember, only one, to, one thing you have to remember, um, virtual machine configuration. So compatible with 6.7 or you can say 6.5 or later than if you have any ESXi host and running on 6.5, that virtual machine will be compatible with that ESXi also. Next. Now, still other and go. VMware ESXi 6.5. Click next. So the hardware configuration. It depends on you how much resource you have. I have uh, my physical host is uh, two socket with um, 
two socket with 16 core. So I can go uh, 32, up to 32 I can go. Up to 32 I can go. 32. So now it shows, by default it shows socket 16 actually. Socket not 16, socket is two, core is 16. So you, you have to change from here 16. And otherwise it's gonna be a wrong configuration. But it's gonna work, but it's gonna be wrong configuration and will not get the better performance. So that also you have to keep in your mind. And CPU hot plugging. You, you can enable this one. Or if you don't enable, it still is gonna work, but it's better to enable it because on the running mode, if you need to increase it, you can increase it. And then the most important things for um, creating a VM for national research size, which is hardware virtualization. You have to check mark on it. This is very, very, very important hardware virtualization. So if you have one host, and on top of that, you are planning to create three, four, five, whatever uh, nested SXI. That means you have to create a first virtual machine and that virtual machine, on, uh, inside, this, the, inside this virtual machine, you will install the SXI. And that will act as a physical SXI host, which is called nested SXI. And in that case, virtual machines configuration, you must have to enable hardware virtualization. That's important. Rest of things is depends on you, environment, your resource. In memory, I have plenty of memory, I can say 32 uh, hard disk. So the first hard disk, the first hard disk, you don't need 40 gig, you don't need 30 gig, you don't, because um, the ESXi only capture um, four gig, but it's better to have like at least 10 gig minimum 10 gig. And if you have more space, it's better, it's fine, no problem. You can assign 40, you can assign 60, you can assign 100, 100 gig. But 10 gig is still sufficient for installing this SXI. And network controller, I'm not saying changing based on you. If you want more hard drive, you can add more hard drive. And um, if you need more network, you can add more network card. You just go to add device and then for hard drive, hard disk and for network, say network adapter and you can add more, whatever you want. But only one machine can have maximum 10 network adapter, not more than that. That's another requirement from VMware. Okay, everything is good. And only one thing I have to select. Um, that is right, so for ESXi. So I have a ESXi file here, uh, ESXi ISO file. Uh, I need to go to the ISO, expand it, Just expand it, and VMR hypervisor to store 6.7.0 upgrade 02. So right now, uh, ESXi version, current version is running with uh, update 3, uh, I believe N or something, update N, update 3 N. So it's fine. If it's, I have older version, I can add, I can uh, apply the update later on. So let me select this one and then click OK. And click Next. All right. And also, before you finish it, go back, VM options. So in 6.7, 6.5, the boot option is by default farmer is EFI, be commanded and CPU boot is enabled. You can go, it's like, you can say BIOS and click next and finish. So for, if you have one ESXi host, in that case, your BM configuration is done. So your BM configuration is done. Where is this BM? So this, uh, let me find out where is the BM. I created here, 
this one. So if you want to deploy more, you maybe you can make it as a template. So go convert it to template and convert it to template. Yes. You just move from here because it's not going to show anymore here because it's the template. Go to the template options and find it from here. See the test. And you can rename it like this exercise, uh, nested this exercise template or something. So I just created, before you convert it, you can rename it or, or when you create a VM for uh, ESXi, you can name it as a template. So that's how in future you will not be confused. Okay, now new VM from this template. Okay, it's just, so why I created a template? Because it will help you if you deploy four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, ten years XI. In that case, you don't need to do the BM configuration from the scratch. You just say deploy from template. And whatever configuration you did for one from the template, it's going to deploy for all other. So it's easy. It will save you time. So you can say, um, Test nested with Excel. Okay. Click next. Why are you gonna put it? Okay, the same is Excel for number host two. There are two by default this one. And fit next, finish. So I see how quick I deploy another one. Because the BM configuration, I already did the for the first one and I make it as a template. For the second one, I didn't spend any time. Whatever configuration I did before, it just copied everything. So now I have another one, right? This one. So now if I was to power on this one to install the SXI, power on, it will ask you where you wanna put it. Is recommending on the post number two, it's fine, okay, post number two. I'm going to power on. So, Click here and go to, okay, and you will see here. Okay, the reason I find out the problem, why it's not good enough, because, because when we create it, we didn't select, go to the edit option. See the ISO file, the raster file is not connected. Make sure you template, you select this one, okay. Now, we start it again. Yes. Now go here. See? See? Now it's put it up. Thanks. Click, click, install. So, if you have one SXI host, you are done. Your national SXI, whatever you want. You are done. But in my case, I have three physical. SXA host, and also I have a decent configure, and I created this nested VM on top of a nested VM. When I created this VM, I use decent storage. And when you install the SXA, it was tried to create BMFS data store, but the BMFS partition is conflict with uh, decent storage. That's why you have to open uh, party session on your ESXI host, you have to enable uh, SSH on uh, target host and, and then you have to do party on that and you have to run one command which is this one. This is the command you have to run. ESXCLI system uh, settings advanced set. This one, this command you just need to run and I I I uh, I'll share this command uh, with the video in the description box, so you have it, no problem, no issues. So let's let's do the installation process and see how I I will uh, face another problem with the data store. F11 and scanning. All right, so it's found 10 gig, right? I just add one storage. If you have multiple storage, it's gonna show 
on the list, but right now I have only one. 10 gig of space storage, and it's a uh, decent storage. It's not like regular ice position or um, NAS storage. So hit enter, default, and provide the password, whatever you want. All right, and enter. It's installing for uh, for installing hit F11. I just did F11. When it's nine percent, right, uh, it will not stop. It will not close. And right after that, it will show the error message because it was trying to format the disk. It was trying to format the disk as a BMFS data store, but it wasn't able to because of my decent storage. It's conflict with the business storage format. Uh, so which is which in the message it says, enable to success, enable to successfully execute try for uh, try format device after three tries. That's why it's fair, right? Okay, let me just import it or power off. I'm going to go back my host. And this is the test message is exercise. I'm going to power off this one. Just power off. Okay, power off. And so while I want to power on this machine on ESX, on my ESX side, on my ESX side, number two, right? So on number two, make sure I have to enable SSH because I need to do the party and run the command. So services, see the SSH by default is stop because for the security reason. So you get started and then you have to do the party and you have to run the command. After you're done, then you can stop it again. Start. So I just start the SSH service and make sure what's the my host, physical host IP address. If I go BM kernel, then I'll be able to see it's number 12, 192.168.1.12. Let me do the party on it. So the, um, run the party. If you don't have party, you can download this very small software, third party tools. You can download it. It's just going to take uh, less than 30 seconds. All right. So, uh, IP address 192.168.1.12. Yes. And root and password is my password. Yeah, people use password. Okay, so I logged into this box, uh, my host number two, because um, I put the Nestle uh, SXI BM on that host. That's why I just enabled SSH and I did the party. I logged in already. Now I need to run the command. So I'm going to run this command. Just copy and this is here and hit enter. This is done. This is done. So now let's see how it's behave. Now I'm going to run again the test nest in SGD6i. I'm going to power on, power on. And uh, it's on number post two, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing happened. Let's see why it's not okay. Fall off because I didn't fix it before. I enable. I enable the um, the try so far. It was in running. That's why it's not safe. So if you, you have to do power on the power mode, you have to change it. Okay, that's all. Now let me do it again. Let's power on. Okay, all right. Now power on. Now open the console. See, now it's working. All right, so let's see how we behave now.
But um, on your home lab, it's very rare you'll have this in storage for creating your nested. On nested SXI, you can create another BSEN storage for practicing your BSEN. And for BSEN, creating a BSEN data store, it's required to have at least three SXI hosts with three minimum three data store. That means one is for SXI installation, which is for OS, SXI OS. And another one is for, um, what is called? Cache tier, another one is for um, capacity tier. So three, minimum three, as space you need on each ESXA host. Um, I'll show you guys how you can create a BSEN in my another, uh, in another video. So for today, it's just how you can install the uh, natural ESXI on your, to using your um, physical ESXI environment. Hit enter, F11 for extract. Scanning. Okay, same thing, hit enter. And you can scan the storage. Uh, this is personal existing data because uh, previously we tried and it creates some partitions, so that's why it's asking you the different um, message. So if you continue to select this, will be overridden, overridden. Okay. So hit enter, default, and then root, root password. Root password is depends on you, whatever you want. Enter. And F11 for installation. See now it's just stop on 9% and hopefully it will go over. See, it's go over 10%. Before it was stuck on 9% and it's throwing an error that it cannot install. Now it's in progress. So almost 45, 50% is done. We are very close. Yes, it's done. Now it says enter, reboot and and also one thing you have to remember, you have to disconnect, you have to disconnect the CD. Otherwise it's gonna start the installation process again. So right click on it, edit. Make sure you disconnect this one, okay. Then uh, go back to the console, hit enter it. So this is how you can install. Now it's reboot. This is how you install this Excel, Excel. As much as you want, you can, based on your resource. I'm not saying like you can create thousand. It depends on your resource. How much resource do you have? Physical resource do you have? So people depend from that. So see my SXL instruction is done. We just we are just waiting for reboot. And the booting process is on, going on uh, within a few minutes. We're going to put it up. Almost done.
is almost done. All right. So we are done. So now you just need to configure uh, management network and all other stuff. So our goal was to install ESXi on top of a ESXi home, physical host. So this ESXi is not physical, it's a virtual. How we run virtually ESXi host on top of a physical host. That's called nested ESXi. Thank you guys to stay with me. Um, if you guys don't, if you guys not subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get my latest video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.